Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm gonna show you some uh, little project here. It's a little bit shadowy right now. Um, hopefully you guys will be able to see, but um, I wanted to show you this super fun um, die set from Scrap Diva Designs. It's the mini bottle pocket tag. And um, actually I think this came out with the November release. And then I didn't get it, and then I um, then Erica did send it to me for in December. So I'm pretty sure it came out last month. So hopefully this is still available. If not, um, just um, you know put your contact information in there, and Erica will alert you as soon as it comes out um, or comes you know as soon as she restocks. Um, and she usually does that pretty quick. So uh, real quick, I'm going to show you. Let me take one of these off, and actually I want to move these a little bit over here so there's not so many shadows it's so weird about shadows um but this is the actual project and i want to walk you through it real quick so this is your base piece so that you're going to start with okay um and then you have a, a couple of ways you can do this so you can um, put a pocket on the front like i did if you didn't even want to do a pocket you can just layer so you can layer this piece um, and then you could even, you know, layer this piece and by popping all that up on foam, it's super cute. Um, you could even use that. You could make a shaker with this, um, quite a bit you can do. So if you just want like a little tag that you maybe have a handwritten note or you stamp like a to and from and attach it to like a wine bottle or something, you can certainly do that. Um, you can, uh, if you decide you're going to use the pocket, um, that's, the, there's, like I said, so many ways you can layer with this piece and this piece, then you can add your pocket. Okay. So your pocket would kind of sit like that. And then this is a layering piece for the pocket. Um, it could also be like a little note, like just to say, you know, um, Merry Christmas and from so-and-so. Um, and then you can put like a gift card in here. You can put chocolates, uh, like just so many things, so many, many things you can do with this. So I love, love, love that. Um, this is the actual little um, tag. And like I said, it's the mini bottle pocket tag. So this whole, I don't know what size this is. It might be like one and a quarter inch. And I noticed that it fits um, these little mini sparkling cider bottles. It fits perfectly. So you can see, um, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit on most wine bottles as well. Um, or even maybe like a beer bottle um, if you're, you know, giving some beer to someone. Um, so isn't that just so, so cute on this like mini um, sparkling cider bottle? And then I thought it'd be fun to put like a chocolate. Um, so I did make the pocket. So you can see there, there's the pocket. And um, I added like a little piece of chocolate. I could probably get two in there. I So, so I think I, when I gift these, I'll add extra chocolates. Um, and then I did buy some actual mini champagne bottles. Um, they're, um, actually, you know, sparkling wine, but I noticed that the neck just, once you got down to about here, just the, like the very top of the bottle was a tiny bit bigger than this. So, um, I haven't done it yet, but I have some other tags I'm making some more of these and I have a one and a half inch hole punch that I put these all together and then I just took that hole punch and punched that out and then it fit perfectly. So if you have this and um, you have some mini bottles but you also wanna do some bigger ones, if that's not fitting, just use a one and a half inch hole punch. It will punch out perfectly and go over like a bigger um, bottle. So um, again, let me show you this close up. So, 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 so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm just so in love with this set. So I did cut this out um, twice out of the base. So I did a pink quartz uh, cardstock for the base and then did a pattern paper over the top. Um, I thought that just to make them more sturdy. And then, um, and then I layered um, this piece here. This guy here, I popped that up on foam and then layered that and I didn't use this one at all, which I could have added an additional layer, but I feel like because I was adding a pocket and all that, I really didn't need to. And I really liked the paper that I used. I didn't want to add that, um, but you, yeah, you certainly could. So, so cute. I totally covered all of this cute little pocket, um, but I did use some of these little, this little greenery. These are from, I forget which um, Scrap Diva Oh gosh, collection, but these came with, um, 
I think this one here is the Cal, is it called Calilies or something like that? This one, um, I forgot this set here, but um, I always cut out a bunch and just kind of keep it in my stash. These are, I think, the Fringe Flowers from Scrap Diva Designs. And then these are the new um, Christmas Cheer Words. I am so in love with the font on this. I hope, Erica, if you're watching, you do more of this font. It's just a fun new one that I'm really loving. So, um, and then just layered some ephemera. It came out so, so cute. Um, and then I also did this one here cute look at that little like turtle dove in a tree I did oh I forgot to mention I tied I have these little like green bells and they're really tiny and I just tied them with some baker's twine um to this and then on this one I just punched a hole in the corner of um like this I punched it like kind of right there and just added it um, to the corner of that. I added another piece of chocolate I use these so I have not used these yet but these are the um I think they're called peppermint words and peppermint numbers. I bought both sets when Scrap Diva was having a really big sale during the summer and I hadn't used them yet. And man, I cut out these and I was like, oh, cutest things ever. So I absolutely love that there's a little bit of a shadow um, effect with that back piece. So there's like, they're like shadow words or shadow letters and shadow numbers. I love the peppermint look and if I remember correctly, Hello Me, it's Roxy. She did some of these in like pastel colors, which you can use all year round, super cute. And also Halloween time, doing like them in black. Oh, so cute. I love them as peppermints, but I just want you guys to know, even though they're called peppermint letters and numbers, you can um, definitely use them all year round. So that's just something I wanted to say because um, so, so, so stinking cute. So I can't wait to make more of those. Uh, but yeah, I just layered up a bunch of ephemera. Um, I think I use the Merry Days collection for most of what, um, most of the paper I have here. This might be from Hey Santa, I can't remember, but it could be Merry Days, I'm not sure. Um, so let me just take these off so you can see them. So put that one there. And then I did another one with the numbers 25. Um, I did this like sweet little goose. Um, I think this is just so cute from Merry Days. Added this piece of ephemera. But don't these just come out so cute? I mean, what a nice gift. And especially if you, like, I think these would be really cute for, like, um, party favors. Um, if it wasn't, like, too big of a party, just because it's, you know, this is kind of a lot of work if you're, you know, if you had, like, 50 people come into your house. But, um, but if you're doing, like, a really small get-together, little girlfriend um, Christmas um, for your kids, um, maybe breakfast time on Christmas morning, having like a little sparkling cider and this, um, you know, at their place setting with like a little chocolate and even a little gift card. I think that's just so cute. I think this would be great for work gifts, teacher gifts. So, um, yeah, this is like one of those sets that I think will be able to be used year round as well. Um, because you can give like a little, soda pop like you could do this totally summer themed with like a gift card to um dutch bros or starbucks or something and then attach it to like a soda pop um i feel, I feel like you can do quite a bit um with this set so there's that um christmas cheer set again isn't it just so cute added another one of those fringe flowers and um this one i did put two pieces of chocolate in but isn't that just darling and honestly, these went to bed, went together really quickly. They cut out really fast and um, they go together really, really quick. So that's it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed that little share um, and stay tuned. I have a few more projects coming up for um, with the December release for Scrap Diva Design. So to keep an eye out um, for those uh, and you guys have a wonderful day. All right, we'll see you soon.